What we have here, a classic 32 Ford three-window coupe hot rod, full fendered, suicide doors, and it comes with this uh, binder of information, uh, American Classic Street Rod, Statement of Origin, that's who built the car, and then a lot of different specs, what belts to use, what brake pads to use, a lot of good information is right here in this uh, binder that happens to color match the car. Um, go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all about it, look at all the pictures top to bottom, that's where you'll find a price tag on every car for sale, along with an easy monthly payment option as well. We also have a buy it now button. If you really like a car, I strongly suggest you hit that button to lock it in. Uh, that gives you a chance to think about it and do your due diligence without losing it to someone else. If you enjoy our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell icon, you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yeah, what a classic hot rod, the 32 and even the 34 hot rod coupes. Uh, I do like the full fendered look, it has running boards you can stand on. There's only about 370 miles on this car since it's been built. It was just finished in 2021. Uh, and I'm pretty impressed with the body. Uh, this one's nice and straight. There are no sides to the hood, does have the top, but this is all straight, nice fiberglass, all fits nicely. It all looks good. I don't see any damage. You know, I've seen some of these where they're just lumpy and wavy. This one's really good. Uh, it is a power lift trunk, which we'll demonstrate in a little while, but this is all nice, clean, Good looking fiberglass with door handles. I know a lot of people think the remotes are cool. I like to have a simple door handle. And they open and close real nicely. Smells good inside too. Uh, it is painted a, a deep metallic emerald green. The metal flake is laid out evenly all over. It's all the same color, it's all uniform, and it has a wet looking clear coat finish. It is glossy and shiny. Minor imperfections here and there. Right here is a few um, dimples, not bubbles, uh, but a few little fish eyes, they call it. Uh, so minor imperfections if you're looking, but I mean, overall, there's really nothing significant. No big scratches or chips or anything like that at all that I have seen. It's a little scratch right here on the edge from putting the hood on. Uh, it also has some hand pinstripe. Some of it is flaked off though, so uh, you can take that off the rest of the way or leave it, it still looks really good. Uh, there's some up here, there's some on the grill, some on the trunk you'll see in a second there. Uh, I still think it looks really nice on the car. Uh, it's all new glass, so smoked glass. Uh, you know, this was built from the ground up, from scratch, so it's, when I say new, it knew when they built it. New mirrors, door handles, of course. I like the uh, bumpers it has front and back. They're stainless steel with the V8 logo, same thing in the front. LED tail lights. Uh, aluminum wheels, I think they're weld wheels. They, that's what they look like to me. Uh, nope, there's an emblem in the middle. Pacer is the name that's on the cap anyway. They're 15 inch. It's a match set of Kenda tires, but you can see they're much fatter in back. Gives it that hot rod stance. The running boards are covered with the vinyl. So again, you can step on it. The ones that are painted look nice, but they always get scratched sooner or later. Got nice chrome headlights, turn signals, a chrome spreader bar. Here's that matching mini front bumper. Got the 32 grill shell that looks so good. So that's the outside of the car. Why don't we hop inside and check it out? So this has a cool feature I have not yet seen on any of the others. I've had them with the power lift trunk. This one here is a one touch. You just hit the button and you walk away as it opens. Yeah, very slick, wet, shiny. I still do like the pinstripe. Rather than taking it off, maybe just have it touched up a little pieces that are missing. So it's all boxed and upholstered to match the interior, the deep dark red, 
battery is in here. It's an uh, indoor car cover, and this is just extra stuff. Picks a flat, and here's a quart of oil, just things that you want to have on the road. So the inside dash, it's like, a, a, I assume it's a fake burl wood. Uh, probably a laminate over the fiberglass dash. A full match set of VDO white face gauges. It's like 370 miles on there. It's got a receptacle to plug in your phone charger and that. Does it have a heat system with defrosters? The uh, these right here are speakers. Behind the seat is a stereo, subwoofer, and more speakers. See the carpet is black carpet with red bound edges, has an e-brake. So the whole inside of the car is upholstered. They did a nice job. It's it's not falling down, the corners aren't curling up, and they have this nice stitching on the seats and door panels, seat belts. The seat's very comfortable. It looks like there's uh, a wire here for an interior light, but obviously there's no light. So that's a little detail you'll have to finish. Uh, it's got haywire wiring system with push-in fuses. Uh, it is a tilt column with a Grant cushion grip wheel. Uh, nice chrome handles and knobs. They're kind of matching throughout. Uh, it's pretty comfortable. I'm six foot tall and I fit in it just fine. Oops, that's a seat belt. Oh, it has these safety locks. They're called suicide doors because they can fly open on you. But once you're in the car, you just turn that, and that door is secure for you. Not going to fly open. It's got power windows, too, and they work. 350 motor. It's been bored, I think, just 10 over. does have a GM bow tie aluminum intake, a polished holly carb, HEI ignition system, uh, some nice billet wire holders, stainless steel headers. You can see all the steering linkage is new. Everything on the front of the motor, it's chrome alternator, brackets and pulleys. Up in the grill is a big electric fan pulling the air through the aluminum radiator. Also has an aluminum water pump and then the polished overflow bottle. And again, all the components were new, the fuel pump, it's got electric choke, a nice fancy dipstick for the uh, transmission, and uh, here's a master kill switch. You can shut the car off when it's parked. This is the name of the shop, American Classic Street Rods. Uh, they built the car. This is a nice mild-mannered hot rod. Oh, maybe not. Oh, Firebird's green too, so if I back into it, it shouldn't be too bad, right? Demonstrate the one touch trunk. I also wanted to mention the stereo behind the seat is a Bluetooth, so you can just hook up your phone and play your music. The owner's manual's behind the seat in a little pouch. Watch how nice this closes. So, underneath the car, it's a new custom frame. It's all boxed and it has a whole bunch of tubular support work in the middle. Looks like a good substantial frame. Uh, up front here, it's got the dropped axle with the holes drilled in it. That was a cool thing to do back in the day. Um, chrome shocks, tubular trailing arms, and back it's a four-link system with coil over adjustable gas shocks. The dual exhaust has like a glass pack type muffler, some stainless tips. Uh, it has a tanks, fuel tank in there. Uh, disc brakes in front. They are power, the cadmium plated power booster, it's all up under the car. Uh, so of course all that was new, the lines, hoses, the brakes, 
You look up at the motor, it's a chrome oil pan, high torque starter, uh, turbo 350 automatic, looks brand new. The drive shaft is new, still has a sticker on it. It's a Ford rear end in the back with a 3.0 ratio. So it's a nice cruising hot rod. So this is a really nice car. It's probably one of the more affordable 32, 34 coupes we've had in a while. So it's really priced reasonably. And I think someone's going to get a really nice car. It's got hardly any miles on it, under 300 miles since it was built. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer your questions, including how you get it delivered to your house, how to get financing. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.